Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm super excited because it's the first update to my deck of panning project that I started this year. So I'll leave my intro below if you want more details on that. And I'll also leave um, Emily and Max's video below. She's the creator of this project. And I'll leave the game board <laughs> below so you know what I'm talking about. But basically, yeah, this is my first update, so I actually do have one product to roll out, which is super exciting. And you might be wondering how that's possible. <laughs> but it's because I decided to have some more specific goals for this project. Um, I didn't really think about them at the time when I filmed my intro, but I think this is the only way that I'm actually going to see any progress. Um, and that's to have use goals for every product. So I've decided to have a minimum use of 10. I know that doesn't really seem like a lot and probably for people that wear makeup every day that's like nothing. But for me that's quite a lot because I don't wear makeup every day and I want to use this product to wrote, I want to use this project <laughs> to be able to rotate through my collection. So the only way I'm going to really be able to do that is if I have a use goal. Um, so for now it's going to be 10, but it might, it depends what the product is that I roll in. Obviously if it, if it's something I think I can just use up anyway, then I'll just have a use up goal, but we'll, we'll see how, we'll see how it goes. So for my first product that I rolled in last time. I'm going to go in order because I, I have my Excel spreadsheet <laughs> right here. So the first prompt I rolled was uh, baked. So I took that to mean a baked formula, obviously. Pretty self-explanatory. So I chose this e.l.f. baked highlighter and blush. This is like a duo of a blush and a highlighter, but you can use them together if you want. This is the shade Rose Gold. I don't know if I mentioned that in my intro. Um, so I used this only four times. So I have six more uses <laughs> to go. But I feel like um, this is extremely subtle as a highlighter and a blush. So whenever I use it, like, if I'm doing a full face of makeup, I don't find it gives enough compared to the other products that I use. So I end up layering this. Like, I put this down, but then I'll add more blush later, which is actually what I did today. And I'm wearing all the products on my face today, if you're wondering. But yeah, I think this would be a better product for, like, a very minimal makeup day. I would just, like, sweep this on as my blush and highlighter because it's extremely subtle. I'll just swatch it like, it, you can barely see it I feel. This is the two um, here. This is both of the shades mixed together and I'm not even sure. You see how like, that is just very, very natural and it feels very dry so I tried to like scrape it, if you can see, that's what those marks are. Also because I use this as an inner corner highlight sometimes. But it seems to be just a dry formula like the whole way through. So I, I will still try and use this the six more times. But I don't know if this is something I'll keep in my collection. Because it's just, I don't know, it's very powdery. And very subtle. Even for me. So, yeah, um, I guess that's why these are only like $4, but still, it should do something at least. The next prompt I got was matte, and that could have went a number of ways, but I decided to pull in my Benefit Hula because it's a matte bronzer, and this is just like a mini version, um, but it's still like, I really don't know how like, um, deep this pan is but I feel like I've used this a lot over the time that I've had it and it kind of looks the same <laughs> but 
but I did use this six times so this one I will only need to use four more times and I like using it so that's not an issue I just feel like it's a touch too warm for my skin tone at least right now in the dead of winter because it's still like there's like a blizzard outside right now and it's the end of February <laughs> but um yeah I think this is something that is better for me to use in the summer months um I'm wearing it today like I said I just feel like it's a touch warm for me but I like the formula and I like how it blends and all that good stuff so four more uses to go on that one then I rolled the whole collection roulette prompt and that one ended up being um, really surprising to me so that ended up being my pure midnight masquerade face palette this is actually a face palette and an eyeshadow palette and I was kind of like oh god this is <laughs> gonna be something because all the eyeshadows like this color story seems like something that wouldn't go well together at least if you tried to use many of the shades at the same time and then the face products are very like pigmented and these two especially are quite deep for me um but i've actually been having so much fun with this um yeah i'm really surprised actually i don't think you can even get this palette i feel like it was made for boxycharm because i don't remember seeing it anywhere else but I've actually used almost everything in here except I'm a bit scared of these two because like I said it's very pigmented and for the eyeshadows the only ones I haven't used is the purple and this like navy blue gray I don't really know let me just swatch it oh that's very interesting I thought it was blue, but I think it's really like a charcoal gray shimmer. So yeah, still gotta use that one and the purple. But I have to say I've been really liking having this shade to use. This is um, the only matte in this palette. And it looks like it's a deep brown, but I feel like it has like a touch of a plum undertone. So it works really well, like um, as a crease shade, I'm wearing it today, like I said. I'm wearing um, this shade, this shade in the outer corner, this one, and I added this on top of the e.l.f. because it just wasn't giving me enough color. Um, and previously, I'm not wearing it today, but I did use the highlighter and I actually really like it too. I was not that surprised because I did mention in my intro that I do like the pure eyeshadow formula but these products really concern me because when you swatch them they feel like they're the exact same formula as the eyeshadows which is very like you know that like thick oily kind of texture so I was very concerned about that but it actually makes them so that they blend out really smoothly on the skin and they don't look too powdery. So I actually really like this. Um, and I'm really happy that it was the random product I pulled in out of everything in my collection. It ended up being this and I really like it. And I can use it, like it's a really good product to have in this project because it's a face palette and an eyeshadow palette. So. The days where I want to use this, I don't need to use the eyeshadows or the face products. I could use like, what am I trying to say? I could use one or the other side. Like I don't need to use everything together. So that's my story on that. But overall, I have only used this. This says I only used it three times, but I feel like I just didn't track that well. Let's just say three because I don't mind using this seven more times, but I must have used it f at least four times. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, so that's staying in and I'm actually really happy about that. So the next 
prompt that I got was the A to Z shade. So I had to roll a letter um, randomly and I got W. So I tried to be strategic and I chose my Too Faced chocolate bar palette because it has a shade I was already kind of working on last year because this palette was in my project pan. Um, it has a shade called White Chocolate. So, and this actually also goes perfect with this palette because there's no light shade in this. So I use this to set my eyelid, um, like to set my eye primer and to clean up like on the top if I blend the shadow too high. So I also really like having this in because this is such a functional shade for the way I do my makeup. And this is the oldest palette in my collection. I feel like I always want to mention that because it makes me feel like I'm actually using stuff and that it's not going to go bad and I can enjoy it while, I, while it's not expired yet. <laughs> oh my god. There's like a snow squall out there. It's, like I, it's scary. And I think it made the lighting look super dark, so I hope it's okay. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Then I I got the prompt only one of, which is a product that a product from a brand that you own only one of. At least that's how I interpreted it. So again, I tried to be strategic and pick something I would actually use, and I picked this truly. Pineapple Haze CBD Glossy Lip Butter and this is a product that I'm rolling out today because I used it 11 times It looks like this. You can't really see like a lot of difference because For some reason I didn't want to mess up the swirl <laughs> So I just kept taking the product from the side But yeah, I did use this 11 times. I thought I would use it more but it quickly became apparent that I can't use this like a normal lip balm because you have to like be in front of a mirror while you're, you know, blending it out because it is like a green shade and you like it's a, a pot also. So I didn't use it as much as I thought I would, but I tried to use it like whenever I was doing my makeup, I would put this down. Um, sometimes just like while I'm at my desk um, and not going anywhere, I would use it like that. But I don't pre prefer this over the lip balm I'm using right now, which is my Burt's Bees lip balm. I feel like that one is much more hydrating. This like feels nice while I have it on, but it dries really fast and it doesn't leave me feeling very moisturized. I don't know. So. I don't love it. It's okay. It's just okay. <laughs> but anyway, I'm rolling this out, so that's fun. And I have so many other lip care products to use anyway, so it's good to get a rotation on those. Then I got the Prompt Autumn, and for that I chose my Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Cream in the shade Pumpkin Chai Latte. This was limited edition, and it's not available anymore. But usually like every autumn, like every fall, they release a new like fall theme collection of these shades. So I hope they do that again this year because I really love this. Um, it's what I'm wearing today, but I have it over a Huda Beauty lip liner in Trophy Wife. So it made it a bit more pink, but I'm obsessed with this. <laughs> like this shade is so unique to my collection. It's like, I don't even know how to describe it. I guess it's like a mauve, but it can go like either way. Like if you use it with a more brown lip liner, which I also did, I used it with MAC, etc. lip liner, and that made it more like a brownie nude. And with this lip liner, it looks more like a rosy tone. If I wear it alone, it's like a mauve, um, I don't know, I just really like it and I'm really happy I picked this up. And it smells good. And it feels nice on the lips too. So 
So I'm really happy with that product. I only used it, again, this is three times. It's not possible. I am really bad at tracking, but I'll just leave it at three because um, I don't mind using it seven more times. So again, that will be like a 10 use goal product. And then the last thing was um, the prompt body care. And I kind of cheated. I just went and chose the same body product that was in my project pan last year, um, which I really did not use. I think I used it like twice <laughs> last year. But since I rolled it into this project, I use it three times. So that's pretty good for me because I'm not, like I said in my intro, I'm not really a body, a body product person. And actually I've been using this as a foot cream. So I finished um, my Peter Thomas Roth eye gels, the gold ones, and it came with this little thing and I kept this because I was like, oh, I'll use that for like a face cream, but I actually use it for this. Um, so this is what it looks like. As you can see, I've been scooping it out with this and I really like that because I feel like Part of the reason I never reach for this is because it's so thick and I hate the feeling of getting it under my nails, which I know is like really specific, like a really specific thing to be annoyed about, but that's just who I am. Um, so I've been using it with this little spatula and I've actually gotten, like I said, three uses out of it. And last year I used it like twice in the whole year. So I think that's really good. And this is actually really good as a foot cream because while it's very thick, it's not like super greasy. And when I use this, I put my like sock slippers on so it keeps it like, you know, um, it keeps it on my feet basically. So I've actually really been liking using this too. So overall, this project has been very successful so far in the sense that I've I found things in my collection that I can get more use out of than I previously thought. And I've just been really liking pretty much everything except for finding this to be too subtle and this lip butter not moisturizing enough. But other than that, it's been really fun. But like I said, because I'm rolling this out, I will be choosing a new card today. So that's very exciting. Hopefully it's not <laughs> gonna be the add another product because I already have seven products in this project whereas you only need to have five. But I got the add a new product twice last time. So yeah. So I'm just gonna shuffle these and Pull up the game board because I forgot to do that and I'll be back to choose the card. Okay, so I have the game board on my screen. Like I said, I'll also link it below. And I believe um, Emily um, shuffles the board on the 10th of every month. So if you're someone who is doing the update on the 20th of every month, like she's doing, then it will be shuffled before your update basically. So I'm just giving these cards a last shuffle so that you know like I'm not cheating <laughs> or anything. And I haven't looked at the game board so I don't know what's gonna happen. So just one card I'm picking today. What is this? No! <laughs> Are you serious? Guys, this is... Okay, first of all, if you missed my intro, these are Dragon Ball Z cards, so... Yeah, that's what we had in the house. This is the Joker. Oh my god. So... The Joker means, are you joking? And basically, you have to pick something that you would never ever choose for a project pan, like something you really don't think you could ever pan in your lifetime. So that's fun. <laughs> okay, 
So I'll have to think about that. But let me just, yeah, let's go through like my thought process on that. So things I would not pen. I'm thinking a red lipstick. A, yeah. A red lipstick. Um, a highlighter, probably. And my brain automatically wants to be strategic about this, but I think the whole point of getting the Joker is that you can't do that. <laughs> Why did I roll something else in? Okay, let me think about this and I'll be back to show you what I picked. Okay, I'm back. Um, <laughs> I was really trying to think this through. And like I said before, I did, like the first thing that came to mind was a red lipstick or a highlighter. But then I was like, but I already have this highlighter and the one in the pure palette in this project. And I also already have a lip product that I want to focus on. So I was like, what about a foundation? Because that's the only, like category of makeup I don't have in this project yet and I rarely use foundation and a lot of my foundations are either brand new or like only like not even halfway done so I was like okay but how will I choose so I use my tiny decisions app and I rolled the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless, Flawless Filter. <laughs> I've used this once. Once or twice, so it's basically full. Um, there is one ounce of product in here. And this is not something that I would put all over my face. I'm not even sure why I put it in this in the foundation category in my tiny decisions app. Maybe I was using it all over the face. Um <laughs> yeah, so that's happening. Um I guess I'll you I'll try and use this ten times. And we'll see how it goes. So yeah, I never would have picked this otherwise, so I guess I met the, you know, the goal of having the Joker is to pick something you would never choose. So I guess it's going to be this. Um, yeah. Oh, and I have the shade 2 light, if you're wondering. Well, I guess it's not terrible, because I can use this as a primer, maybe. Um, I'm actually kind of glad now that I pulled this in because I need to figure out how I want to even use this product. You know what I mean? Like, am I gonna use it as a primer, as a foundation? Probably not as a highlighter, at least not over makeup. I don't think it would work that way. We'll see. So that's my update I was really hoping to get like something more fun as a prompt than the stupid joker but anyway so I hope you <laughs> like this video I guess if you did give it a like let me know below if you're also doing this project yeah subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video bye